Hello, welcome to a special episode of Plan 9 from Out Spies. Today we're looking at the Fuego Spice Company's White Lightning Choco Challenge. So this is something I've wanted to do for a while. It's taken weeks to get here. Uh, it's finally here and uh, I'm really happy to be doing this because uh, it supports Feed in America. So for each one of these done, uh, there's 50 meals donated. So uh, it's a really good challenge in that respect. You're not going to be doing it with me, are you? No. Um, I'm a little bit petrified, sorry to skate, <laughs> um, but I'm not prepped in any way, shape or form to do such a challenge. No, me neither, but you're here for moral support, which is the main thing. Um, so this is what came, uh, we got uh, Welcome to the Choco Challenge, um, which apparently you can enter, if, if I do this, you enter a competition to win a year's supply of hot sauce, so that's quite nice. Um, what else? We've got some facts about Feeding America, which uh, I might leave for you to read out later if I'm really struggling. <laughs> um, we also got this weird thing, which is just a, a, a sticker that just has the word no <laughs> on it. And I don't, know if, I don't know if that's supposed to be in there or if it was a like, order number. It just says no. I'm, I'm into not, it. not sure what I'm supposed to do with that. Um, but I suppose we better just get on, really, because mm -hmm. after this point, I can't edit the video. Uh, this challenge needs to be done with no edits so that people see that I haven't just melted down some milky bar buttons into a, <laughs> into a white chocolate square. So we might as well get it open and uh, try our best to do it in one go. So it says it's white chocolate infused with 12 of the world's hottest peppers. Uh, I'm not sure if it tells you what they are on the box. I think I could probably put that up on the screen. I think that it's online. Mm. But they're hand selected to pair with white chocolate. Our unreleased 12 pepper blend comes from mad scientist Smoking Ed Curry's secret garden of devilish delights. Um, so I've come across Ed Curry's stuff before mm. uh, when I did the world's hottest noodle challenge, uh, which I failed. Uh, I was quite ill at the time. Um, it's probably oh, safety first kids. Um, <laughs> probably not the best well, uh, time to do a challenge. What were you going to say? I was going to say you were really ill with the noodles. Yeah. Like, Not with the noodles. I was, I was ill before the noodles. And then uh, one thing I would probably say is if, you, if you're feeling ill, don't do the world's hottest noodles. Like, it's, <laughs> uh, it was a stupid thing to do. Okay, so we're in. It was sealed. All right, let's put it back in its little bed. Immediately it says, you must be insane to consume this pain. <laughs> Crazy enough to take the challenge, eat it, eat the entire bar of chocolate, film it, which we're doing, and then share it, which I guess if this video makes it, it might be like a found footage Blair Witch video. Uh, so that's what we need to do. Last chance to turn back. Nice little touch. I'm into this branding. Mm. That's very cool. So it's a quite small bar of chocolate um, with a little burning skull on the back. Do you want to have a sniff and things mm. before it comes out? Just smells like white chocolate. Yeah. Um, I think I kind of said on on our very first video it was a chocolate challenge, the instant regret. I, I kind of said I don't like chocolate, uh, and that's not actually true. <laughs> um, I do like white chocolate quite a lot, and I do like dark chocolate quite a lot, but milk chocolate not so fun of. Mm. So, oh my God, this looks insane. Um, <laughs> So I, uh, yeah, I was just about to say I like white chocolate and looking forward to this, but now I've seen it, uh, it looks madness. Oh my God, that smells so spicy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Let's get rid of that for you. Is there anything we need to talk about before I do this? Because, um... Uh, <laughs> well, like, have you written a will? <laughs> what I will say just before I do it is whenever we do any kind of eating on camera, mm. Like, I'm always scared. Oh my God, it made me, like, cough already. I'm always scared that I'm going to get the hiccups because I have the most embarrassing hiccups in the world. <laughs> so I might as well bring that up now. I'm always scared that like, I'll choke on the thing. Uh, but also this time I'm a little bit afraid that I might just die. <laughs> so oh, I'm here for any kind of assistance, yeah. at least. I don't think there's any particular rules with this, mm. but I think what we're going to do is just see if I can do a bit of an afterburn afterwards, see how it feels, talk through that experience, if I can, uh, if I even get it down. And I'm, I mean, it's so small, you could probably just swallow it whole, but I, I'll give it a chew and try and do it properly. Okay. You can tell I'm just delaying now. Right, let's just get on with it, shall I? Yeah. All right, let's go. Not hot. Yeah. Mm. 
Mm, very hot. Mm. It's quite tasty though. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, does it actually taste like white chocolate? Mm hmm. Mm. It smells very spicy. Like it, it reminds me of something. Mm. But I can't think what. It reminds me of. It's pretty good. Yeah? Mm. It's almost like a. Sorry. Talk, is that officially a mukbang if you talk with your mouth full? Is that what that is? Yeah, we're having a little chat. Mm. Um, it tastes a bit like a caramac almost. Okay. But All right. with insane peppers in it. Mm. I mean, you look pretty cool so far. Don't jinx it. <laughs> As we know with a lot of these sweet challenges, it's the sticking around your mouth. So the chocolate's already coated all my teeth. But I guess the point is to not... Yeah, you can start the start timer. Start an afterburn. I guess the point with these things is to not drink. But as we found with the fudge and the other chocolates and stuff, you kind of want to drink to get rid of it out of your mouth. Yeah. Mm. No, totally. I think um, that's just the instinct, isn't it? Like, get it out. <laughs> Well, that's, that's it done. And one of the other reasons I wanted to do this is there's a thing called the League of Fire, which is like a, a league for chili heads. And I'm like a normal person who just enjoys spicy food. And these are the serious chili heads that eat Carolina Reapers for breakfast. But I thought it'd be funny or uh, interesting to see. So this qualifies you for the League of Fire. So I thought it'd be interesting to try something that would qualify Plan 9 from Out of Spice for the League. So. I guess providing I keep this down, which seems fine, mm -hmm. uh, I guess that's it. So we'll submit this and see if we can get on the leaderboard. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, which is funny. Um, is there anything you want to know? Uh, or should, should we talk about Feeding America? Um, I think we both did some fundraising in the UK mm -hmm. for food banks. We think it's a really great thing to do. So, uh, you know, it's really nice that you can do a spice challenge, something fun, mm. but also support that cause as well. Um, and yeah, I think it's just something that we're both quite passionate about really, isn't it? Yeah, I think if you're, it's a very good carrier for the message, isn't it? Because it's something fun and interesting to do and mm. it's something people want to do. So why wouldn't you make the best out of it Yeah. in that way? I think it's really clever. I it's mean, a lot of these challenges, let's face it, they're a, they are a bit of a racket if you're paying like, $20 for one spicy jelly bean or whatever. Yeah. That is an insane business model. So if you can give some of that to a charity, I think that's really great. Um, yeah. I must uh, say, I don't know that much about Feed in America because we're based in England, in the UK. So it is cool that they put this little fact sheet in. Yeah. Um, about how your donations spent and uh, how many food banks there are and things like that, which is obviously awful, but um, really interested to know where your money's going. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'll tell you how I'm feeling. Where am I at now? Two and a half. All right. Um, my nose is starting to run, mm -hmm. so I might need a tissue. Um, there's yes. a little bit of sweat forming on my lip here. Um, my mouth is okay. It was burning at first. Um, I need to stop saying burning. It always reminds me of like Bernie Sanders, like when I say I've got like a little burning <laughs> on my tongue. It's just there. Um, but um, yeah, the, my tongue is a little rough, like um, tingly, but there's nothing in the throat or anything. Um, any shakes? Mm, no, I'm okay. Uh, it's a bit cold actually, I'm a bit shivery. <laughs> um, but yeah, generally it's, the, it's now kind of wearing off. Um, apart from my little runny nose, um, I feel fine actually. I don't think, um, I think this is the, the second version. Mm. There was one called uh, Choco Loco before it, uh, which we didn't get to try, sold out now. But I think this one's supposed to be hotter, so okay. let's just say we would have finished that one as well. You say we. Yeah, yeah. You keep saying we. I think you could have uh, done this one. It's actually not um, not as bad as maybe the fudge that we did, you know. Um, that really? was, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that was pretty uh, pretty bad. But yeah, this this is just... A little painful in the mouth, but um, 
not really anything different to like say like a, a hot curry or something. It's it's just I don't yeah. Know. So for me, yeah, I mean, it's been all right this one. Um, you feel it in your stomach? No, or? no, no, nothing. Oh, interesting. Yeah, right. I feel fine. Um, so yeah, I guess we might as well just wrap up because I'm not gonna. I mean, it's four minutes. Should we just take it to five, just for the, yeah, the sake not? of it, in case at five minutes in I go like, whoa, <laughs> we're set on fire. Um, <laughs> Breathing fire. But yeah, it's been it's been quite a nice challenge. I liked the taste of the chocolate. Um, it was yeah, really nicely spicy, nice and sweet. Um, I appreciate that they've put some effort into pairing the peppers with the white chocolate. Mm. Tell you what is good news: uh, only sixty calories. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that's a better bonus. Is that less than a Freddo? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I don't know, probably. Probably, I think a Freddo's about 80 to 100. Um, <laughs> well, I didn't know that information. Well, <laughs> welcome to the Freddo channel, uh, Freddo fans here. But yeah, so, I mean, that's quite good that it's so low, low cal. <laughs> the low cal cal zone zone. Um, a marriage between good and evil. Also, it contains no extracts, which I approve of as yeah. well, which is very nice. We both hate extracts. Mm. Um, that's five minutes. It's done. Nice. I've done it. Well done. Um, yeah, all right. Well, that was the Fuego Spice Company Choco Challenge, the white lightning version. Um, I think it's more than doable for mm. most people, that one, uh, unless you really don't like spice. I don't want to be responsible for somebody <laughs> paying but it's more than doable and it's for a good cause so if you can do it why not do it yeah. well uh, done oh thanks <laughs> and yeah thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video then i don't know do whatever you're supposed to do and, <laughs> and watch uh, our other videos i don't know yeah come say hi <laughs> come say hello come come around i mean not allowed <laughs> don't come around. um but yeah that's it well done thanks 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 for watching <laughs>